now. Starting. Uh, now recording. Hello, Craig. So, hello, Craig. Yeah. So, um, let's start with you, Tort Agent. How how would you rate uh, Shiki? I would. Um, I'll give it a seven out of out of ten. I um, this series was was quite um, refreshing, um, and I enjoyed it quite a lot. So it was um, it was it was great fun, but, um, basically. Yeah, yeah, standard, standard vampire shit. So, yeah, not really. Not really, not <laughs> ever. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess we can go into that later. So, yeah, yeah, Biogandam, no could you give like a synopsis of the thing or something? Uh, I'm not very good at giving synopsises, but sure, I'll just read one off Mal. Fuck it. Right. My anime list. Let's go, boys. I'm not very good at giving synopsises. I'm more of a, a hype man, so... Well, maybe not a hype man. 15-year-old <clears throat> Meg yeah, Megami Sisumu yeah. dreamed of a glorious life in the big city. However, her unexpected death in a quiet village of Sotobar marks the beginning of what, ap what appears to be a ferocious e epidemic that turns the hot summer into a season of blood and terror. A young doctor named Tozo Ozaki begins to doubt the nature of the disease and comes to understand understand that to discover the truth he must abandon his humanity Mawa, meanwhile natsuno yuki an antisocial youth from the city is haunted by the sudden death of megumi and must realize the pain of friendship in the face of his own tragedy toshu and natsuno form an unlikely pair as they work together to save soto before it transforms to a ghost town of vampires right da -da -da. So, sorry okay, okay. <laughs> so i mean um, you, you describe this um, Baugandam, you describe this as a, some sort of a comedy, like that it would become a comedy at some point. It was. Um, the second half is comedic gold. Yeah, it is, it's true. <laughs> hmm. I see. It's, it's also very brutal as well. L look, look, it's called yeah. Dark Humour. Yeah, ex exactly. Get it? Because it's at night time? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Nice one, Chief. So, I guess... Um, the, the, Tort Agent, did, did, it go, did it go the way that you expected it to go? Uh, not really. Um, it didn't... Um, the um, series ended um, a lot more uh, brutally um, than, I, than I ever expected it to, really. I mean, you know, you, um, we literally had, like, bod bod bodies being dumped into, like, uh, massive giant pits, pits, you know, mass... Yeah, a mass, mass graves being dug and stuff, and, you know, uh, I mean, eventually they, they like, literally um, find, like, like, a new place, what's it called? Um, yeah, yeah, um, they, um, ca they, call, they call it, they call it, they call it the, the hellhole that they end up actually, actually d dumping bodies into, um, in the end, and uh, yeah, everyone everyone goes a bit crazy, and um, this hysteria takes hold and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's for, yeah, it really um, it was something that I didn't expect, um, which which was quite nice. Yeah, mm, yeah. I mean, it it was kind of violent, but it's anime, so I had I, I don't I, think I, 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 I think with Shiki is that it's very memorable. Like you're not gonna like you watch the show. I don't think it. it it's one of those shows that's very memorable. Yes, yes. Yes, it is. Um, yeah. I'm not going to forget this, uh, this show, really. Yeah, um, um, are you, um, so are you guys glad I actually recommended you guys to watch it? Yeah, I was. So, yeah, it was, um, it, was a, it was a great time. There isn't, um, there isn't many anime I can, I can really watch, like, five episodes of in a row, but um, I, was, I was actually able, able to do that with Oh, with, oh with yeah, because like, when, I, when I first watched this shit, and it actually happens during rewatches as well, less so, but like, I can just blow through a couple of episodes of this, like, relatively easily. Like, it's like... Yeah, um, yeah. It sort of just flies past, doesn't it? Yeah. I Actually, I, I do actually want to ask you guys, because um, I, I kind of may have forgotten this feeling, because I've watched it quite a few times. Um, What was your guys, like, exp like experience just watching it for the first time like the first like let's just take the first couple of episodes like what was your thoughts on the first couple of episodes mm. yeah i think the first couple of episodes uh like it was kind of a nice nice build-ups kind of like seeing them seeing the humans trying to figure out 
uh, what was going on. The um, I, it kind of got a bit annoying how nobody got what was going on, but I guess it was uh, it made sense. I guess. Um, what about you, Todd Agent? Yeah, I just um, as for uh, as for the first episodes, um, I I I really like the uh, aesthetic of it. Um, I guess. Um, yeah, just um, I think yeah, I posted I posted about this when I when I first started watching the series a few uh, days back or something, and yeah, it's um, it reminded me of um, what's his name? What what? Stephen King. What's his bloody name now? Yeah, um, a bit of Stephen King, but um, also of um. Of um, Tim Burton as well, um, with with all these uh, very um, saturated colours being used um, in sort of a contrasty way to 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 a very um, to um, to to what is a very a very dull colour palette. So you know you would um, you would have a character like a Megami in this regular village, um, but you know she, she she sort of turns up and dressed all in pink. You know, which is you know it's. Um, it's the sort of thing I would go. I would expect to find in, like you know, um, the the um, Batman, the um, Batman Returns or something. You know, there's uh, that use of color, um, which was which, which is quite nice. Um, as for the second episode, and what, what happened in the second episode? <laughs> you keep... Oh well, I forgot then. Oh yeah, oh yeah, where she where she actually, um, yeah. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. Um, that's um, that's um, scene. Um, yeah, w- um, which which was very stylized. Where um, when um, Megami um turns into a into a shiki or a, a vampire, and she breaks into uh, into um, Yuki's friend's house. Um, somehow, I think it is it is um explains. But but anyway, um, she sort of um appears to to a um Yuki um. In his dream, um, supposedly, but um, he's um, he's, he's paralysed, and she uh, and she sort of feeds off his friends, um, as some sort of um, as as a as a um, revenge for um, for um, his neglection of her um, throughout her life. You know, when she was just a re- regular human. Um, that um, and that whole scene, um, they use um, they use um, grids like um, 3D grids, um, so so you can sort of um, almost, um, almost fe- um, feel what um, Yuki's feeling um, in that um, in that um, situation, and and you can um, and by that um, I mean you can you can sort of um, trace where she where she's sort of walking and stuff, and uh, you get you get, you get you, you get kind of like a nice jump scare where she sort of emerges from underneath um, his friend's bed, and she sort oh, of yeah, dude, bends when I watched that, that was fucking creepy. Neck. It's like shit. Get the flamethrower. Yeah, yeah, and like, and like, and like, like, like creaks and things, and like, you can, you can, like, sort of hear the bones. Yeah, like, uh, what, what's really yeah, interesting is that really there's great. like a stiffness to her movements, and there's like, it, like, it's so unnatural the way she, like, she crooks her neck, like, it doesn't look like she's moving normally, like, it's very stiff. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I really yeah. like that scene, like the the cricking of the bones, like it, it, and um, like it makes you think that you're encountering something fucking supernatural. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was um, it was very well done, and uh, that's what well, that's what I liked about um. Yeah. 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 I, I really did. Uh, I really did love a lot of a lot a lot of the stylist um a lot of the um direction, um that they used throughout the series. Yeah, because um, I, I brought this up in a little pre chat, but I I think the directing in the show is excellent. Like, I I just think it is um, it's very good at building that uncanny um uncanny valley effect um. And, and just the use of like cinematography and choices, like the three D grid shit, um, and a little thing that I, and a yeah, thing exactly. that I kind of noticed, and I and I touched on this before, is that like you know if you look, um, they the, with the you know the scenes where like the humans will like she a she shiki, and it comes off as like just incredibly creepy and so like very like oh my god this is something supernatural, but when it's like you see the point of view from like the shiki, that it, 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 it looks like a relatively normal anime, and like it looks relatively normal. Except for the fact they they're pale and got fangs and red eyes. Like, did you guys notice that? Uh, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. I mean, um, but so later on, um, the Ashiki sort of end up looking looking more uh, like people. It's only it's only, it's only when, um 
uh, they're, they're very uncanny to begin with when when they first appear in town. They're they're like these supernatural beings, and you know, yeah, they, they very look like freaky. Yeah, um, like, like literally, they like gliding yeah. across the screen as they walk past. The main char- and characters are like, "What the fuck was that?" Like, you know, they they look yeah, more exactly. inhuman and mysterious. Yeah, uh, but um, during the end, um. You um you sort of um they st- start looking more human, uh, right? And it just it just starts looking like oh yeah, like um, it may as well be people they're they're sort of dragging out um into 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 the sunlight and you know killing off on maps basically, which 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 I think was was another good call um in terms of the uh, directing and yeah. and and the style choices. Yeah. Um. I. Mm. I could never get used to the to some of the uh, hairstyles. Oh yeah, we were, uh, we were like... memeing about that before. In fact, if I scroll up on Shadow, oh, yeah, just click a... into the meme, the uh, the hairstyles are <laughs> yeah, meme. Yeah. You got the uh, the uh, yeah. you got the mountain pass here. Uh, you've got the the pumpkin, yeah, uh, the Grant, the Gandalf. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that... Oh man. Yeah, the, uh, they were basic. It's kind of weird to have like fucking cat ears on that character. Yeah. But... Uh, I, I'm going to say that the <laughs> hair kind of downplays like the horror aspect of the show. Like, I wouldn't really care if they had multicolored hair. Like, it'd be like, okay, whatever. They've got anime hair. Hair, hair color. That's fine. Like, that's that's fine. Um, I think it's just the fucking hairstyle that takes it out of it. I mean, you've got a chick who literally has hairstyle like a mountain pass. Like, I can literally see like a, a hell. We go like up. Oh, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah. 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 Um, I think I got used to most of them except to Sunako's uh, floating hair. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's like she's, she's, not, she's in fucking space or something. Um, I, I, do, I, I think, don't know. I, I think these, think these Shiki can also float or fly. Because there's like the scene at the hospital with the, the blue hair chick where she's like, like I don't think she jumped. I think she was like floating because she was like floating there for a few seconds. There wasn't a fucking jump. Yeah, they don't. Really, they don't. I don't know. Like um, it, it's kind of uneven. Like I guess the idea of how strong they are. Um, I, and... I mean, one of them gets almost like BTFO with a fucking shovel. So yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess they're just hard to kill, not not strong. Um, well, the day walking ones are strong and hard to kill, but yeah, basically, like t- to me, they kind of come off as like incredibly tough corpses, living walking corpses. Like it's gonna take a bit to put one of these fuckers down. I see. Yeah. Um, Another thing which kind of took me out of it was uh, that um, that guy's aim with his rifle. What was his name again? Uh, you know the the fuck boy or whatever um, Gigolo. I, I don't know. What, what should I call fuck him? Boy, you're not narrowing it down. Uh, the, the human. The human. Oh yeah. The him. human who is with Ven- Yeah, he he's fucking weird. Yeah, I just felt like his uh, his his aim um, at firing. His rifle was a bit too good. To be yeah, too. like it was um, this guy like in the fucking Marine Corps. Oh no, wait, no, in the Marine Corps they eat crayons. Was this guy like a marksman in the army or something? I don't think they ever explained his backstory either. I, uh, in the I'm manga they do, but in the anime they don't. I see. Or well, what is it? Right? Uh, basically, he was a rich kid who okay. wanted to become a vampire. His wife kills his parents. And doesn't give him what he wants, and basically he lives with them. It's weird. Mm. Because it kind of felt like, uh, like with some of the other characters, like um, again, uh, the little girl. God damn it, I can't remember her name. Sonoko, Sonoko was it? no, yeah, that's not Sonoko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it? yeah, Sonoko. Little, uh, little... Yeah, I guess it kind of makes sense that she's she she's wearing clothes, sort of like um. Victorian doll or something, but uh, yeah, I mean, like um, judging from like her backstory and shit, she was probably like during like early Meiji period, probably maybe the midway. 
Like, um, my estimate is that, like, she's probably, like, before, like, Imperial, like, the Imperial, like, she's probably before World War One and Two. <laughs> so, like, she's probably in that, like, early Meiji period shit. I, I guess, uh, what do you think of uh, the plan, the quote-unquote plan, th that, uh, that the vampires hatched? I mean, did they have to try to convert the whole... I mean, um, they could so have I, just... I actually talked about this with um, Ford Agent, and he could probably add to it. Like, basically, my thoughts on is that, basically, she doesn't... She can't cognitively understand it because she's like peter pan you know she's the she's the little boy or little girl who'll never grow up because you know she does all these terrible things but there's also like this there's this veil of innocence behind it as well like i really think that she isn't like evil it's just cognitive wise like she cognitively can't um comprehend this and um because she's still a child i mean i think i think there's studies that talk about that like the development of like morality and stuff like, children, compared to most normal adults, are almost, like, sociopathic in terms of morals. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's kind of an excuse in anime a lot of the time, isn't it? Like, uh, if, that, if the characters are acting like retards, oh, well, it's because they're teenagers. Um, I, I mean, it's, it's understandable, <laughs> but at the same time, like, that excuse can't always fly. But I think in her case, it does. Because... Because, like, because I think she was like what eleven or twelve when she became a vampire. Like, basically, her her brain hasn't like developed and shit. So basically, she's always stuck as a child. She she's always gonna have a child's mentality, no matter how much experience she has. Mm, I I also felt like uh, the scenes uh, with the monk and Sonoko kind of dragged on and and basically just repeated the same point over and over again. Uh, yeah, um, um, I, was, I was talking to Ford Agent about this. Like, basically, we came to the conclusion that she's a cougar and she's grooming him and shame on her for, like, trying to groom younger men. Yeah, mm. it's true. It's true. I, I mean, I, literally, those I, entire I do, uh, scenes are just her grooming him. Yeah, I could, um, I, I did, um, I did, I did quite, quite like watching those scenes, um, where a sort of code just slowly, um, unravels the, uh, the, um, Junior Monk, uh, what was he called again? Um, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, um, or uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and she and uh, you know she sort of writes hints um, in his in his notes um, about you know what about what what he really needs to get out and, and things and she and she, and she slowly turns him to 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 the side of the to the side of the shiki. Uh, I don't know. I thought um, I thought it was kind of nice. Um, um, I, really, I like this so. scenes. I, I, cause basically when I first watched it, it's like, oh, this is kind of, oh, this is adorable. And then when I'm like thinking about it and also because I played vampire and masquerade and shit, like this is very much like a sire trying to like groom the potential guy they're going to embrace. I see. Yeah. Um, so it's, so mm, that's what I mean by grooming. Like literally I get, I got the impression that some of those conversations that she was like grooming him to become a vampire. Mm. As for the, yeah, I mean, I, it's just it's just that I felt like their conversations. It's like that, um, you know, they're going to reveal something or like give some uh, insight, but uh, it it never comes. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, and I, at I the can, end, yeah, I can yeah. see. Um, so as as for the plan itself, um, it was never going to work because basically. A, the town doesn't have the infrastructure or ecosystem to support such a thing. And B, um, basically so many of them were created so fucking quickly that it was... Like, basically, if they did this over the point of, like, years, I could see it possibly working. But at the rate they were going, it was never going to fucking work. I think maybe maybe the plan, uh, you know, um, to follow the plan... Uh, <laughs> It was sort of to turn the whole village into a vampire village yes. and ki kidnap people from the from other places, from cities or something. Yeah. But uh, I don't know how, how many people are they going to kidnap. Uh, I mean, um, it's, it just it seemed unrealistic. Well, that's why I say that's why I mean by infrastructure and shit. Like it literally is impossible to because 
how are you going to cover up all the kidnappings? How, where, like, how are you going to cover the shit up? Like, so much shit can go wrong when you've got, like, what, a couple of hundred vampires that are hungry and thirsty every single night and they have no self-control? Like... <laughs> yeah, I mean, all, all that they were going to, going to do was, like, uh, just um, mess with some paperwork. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I don't know, like, it, how long would that last? Um... um... Well, basically, like, what what are, they, what are they gonna do about fucking tourists or people that come by? Like, what are they gonna do about them? Like, like, aren't people gonna be suspicious that no one's out during the fucking day? That barely anyone's out during the fucking day? And also, it's yes. mysterious that people go missing. Mm. Speaking of, um, given that the plan has got to do with the village, I thought that, um, I thought that the village setting was pretty nice. Um, oh, I, I love the setting. I love the fucking village. Like this, it, it literally screams dead horse village in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Like, it yeah. literally screams Japanese rural village in the middle of nowhere. Like, it's a great setting. You know, there's all... The, and, and, and what's great about it is that, like, it's, it's like, connected to the roads and shit. <laughs> yeah, it's basically AA anime village, yeah. Um... <laughs> Uh, what I like about it is it's it's it, like it kind of gives off this feeling of like isolation and tension because like you know they ca- like because the characters can't just like go down the road and get the police like the next town is like thirty kilometers away. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's um, um, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, what and what one of the things they do do quite well is um is sort of um, establishing. Um, yeah, quite how hopeless and isolated um, this situation is because usually the uh, first question um, you ask, um, especially after the, the um, entire village is convinced, um, well, you know, um, why don't they they just go elsewhere and, and uh, ask ask for help, you know, from like the army or something? Well, in this instance, um, the uh, Shiki literally have like um, control of the administration. Um, so, um, so these uh, these um, lone villagers kind of are kind of forced to um, defend themselves. Yeah. Yes, I, I also did that. They they did a good job of um, establishing, um, like uh, the village hierarchy. Like, uh, you basically saw like, um, basically the, the leaders of uh, the of the community, the, the village elders or something, get broken down very um, quickly. Yeah, they they did, they do it. Uh, they did it very well. It, it wasn't just like a just like a, a bunch of random uh, Japanese middle schoolers or high schoolers uh, yeah, saving well, the village. Actually, that's uh, the yeah. kind of the interesting thing is that even when the show start when the show starts, like there's a lot of the elderly deaths dying. Like a lot of quite a few old people are dying, and like if you notice, like they they actually they, if I remember correctly, because this is this is before they move in, but you get the impression that they've been scoping out this place for a while, and basically like. Yeah, like basically they kind of take out the village hierarchy because um because in, in Japanese culture and this is like East Asian culture in general, like elders are like very highly respected and shit. And so, you know, they they because basically when they started like embracing the younger people, they didn't really have any of that guidance cuz most of their elders are fucking dead. Yeah, it it, it was basically I guess um be careful of outsiders because usually when it comes to stuff um, set um, horror stuff set in the countryside or something it's about a bunch of outsiders coming in and the, the villagers are all insane and weird and, and, and the villagers do go insane yes but in, in this case it's it's not like the outsiders are innocent or something no um you, you know the, the the you know the, the sort of stuff like the Vicar Man uh, and you know where yeah yes yeah, yeah. uh, that's a it's good thing. film though, the uh, the Wicker Man um, I would uh, would um, would recommend watching the Wicker Man though uh, not not uh, quite so much the uh, remake <laughs> with Nicolas Cage yeah. I, I, I've <laughs> heard I've heard some bad things about the Wicker Man but um like talking about like the Doctor I saw, I, I, I just want to say, like, talking about the isolation, like, the village of Sotobar itself sometimes feels like a character in itself. And... Yeah. And, and, yeah. You, and you kind of pick this up in, like, the second half of the show. Like, you kind of feel like the village is dying. 
quite literally, like, all the life has been sucked out of it. Like, like... Yeah, yeah. Uh, another, another thing which I found weird was, I guess, uh, because I think um, the Doctor, for instance, was more worried about uh, about the village dying out than, than the, basically the vampires spreading outside of the town, uh, of the village. He seemed to care more, because usually when you have these... Uh, "Quote unquote epidemic kind of stories. It's about you know like we need to do something to contain it or something. Um, whereas it yeah. seemed to me that mm-hmm. he, he just wanted to save the village or something. I I, I, yeah. I, I, well, well, I actually then... think and and because I live in like a rural community, I can kind of get this. Um, you know when you generally live in a rural community, you tend to care more about your community more than like the outside world. Like the outside world's kind of secondary." Um, what are you going to say, Horace? If, if that makes any sense, like yeah, it yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, 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 I don't live yeah, like in a like a, a small like my town is like a lot bigger than this and a lot more like developed than this place. But like I, you know, I live in a rural area. Like there's rural, there's more isolated rural areas around me, and generally those people tend to protect themselves. Like you know, if your neighbor's in trouble, you grab your shotgun and you help your fucking neighbor. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah, um, yeah. Um, maintaining those those sort of natural uh, boundaries, yeah, is uh, very valuable. Um, uh, I w- I would say um, in the case of of the I mean, doctor, also if you um, think about it, like he is part of the hierarchy. He's the village doctor, like he's the medicine man. He yeah, is, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. also part. Like basically, I'm a- I'm actually shocked they didn't try to target him like as late as they did. You, you would think that they would actually want to... Well, they they did eventually, but you'd think that uh, they'd want to target the Doctor as well. Because, you know, he's part of the, hier- the, the hierarchy. Um, yeah. b- basically, um, that uh, big titted uh, woman, I can't remember the, her name, I, I wanted to keep... Bait. That's basically yeah. what I call her. Yeah, she wanted to keep the doctor alive for yeah, immoral reasons. Uh, yeah, so 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 basically, they, they were just uh, too late. I, well, I didn't understand why. Um, by the way, the uh, the guy with the rifle, the oh, god damn it, yeah, I many, um, it, um, It's uh, it's uh, um, Cishiru. Um, I think that's how you say his name, and uh, and the uh, woman. The uh, large, large-breasted woman was um, 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 Chizuru. I think, I think that's how Chiz- you say it. Yeah. Yeah, so... uh, Chizuru and uh, si- yes, yeah, so Shishiru. <laughs> Fucking I think Japanese that's, uh... names. Yeah, um, that, that is quite yeah. a mouthful. So, I, I, I can't, well, why did he? Why did the guy, guy with the rifle, uh, who was supposedly on the side of the vampires? kill um kill the quote unquote verbal um uh, oh, okay so the- basically th- this is kind of like a blink and you miss it scene in the anime and in the manga they go more definite basically um when yuki chan became a fucking vampire uh he bit the doctor and that guy too and basically he gave that guy an order to kill the female werewolf chick I see, I see. He, so uh, <laughs> clever. That's yeah. That that. Mm. I I think I st- uh, I didn't like you here at first. I thought that oh like, uh, um, he was complaining about nothing all the time. Um. Well, he's but, he's, uh, an, uh, he's an angsty teenager. Like, listen, he'll grow older. He'll grow out of it. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I think. <laughs> uh, but by the end, yeah, not anymore. But, but by the end, I, ca- I kind of started to like. Um, uh, <laughs> I, I, I kind of started to like him. Like for example, when uh, the cat boy uh, was like, yeah, "Are you on the side of the humans?" Uh, <laughs> he was like, "No, um, fuck um, you." Tatsumi is the uh, is is the cat boy. Yeah, yeah Tatsumi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tatsumi. Yeah, that's I've an easier name. Sheet. That's an easier name, Tatsumi. <laughs> Tatsumi. Yeah, yeah Tatsumi Yuki. So helps a lot. Yeah, yeah. Well, why can't everybody just have simple um, anime protagonist names like that? Like Akira. Uh, 
Yeah. Like yeah. Akira Masuma, Mas- Masamune. Yes, yes, I... like a like a Masamune. Yes, yes, very simple. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is the great 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 grandson of Dote Masamune. I mean, um, I see. I see. what do you guys think of the conclusion of the conversations that um, um, that the monk and the little girl, uh, Sonoko, had? I mean, grooming. Uh, I mean, I guess so. But um, I mean, about what they actually said, like, oh, it's not your fault. Uh, um, oh, yeah. The end discussion uh, in the in the church. Um I'm gonna say it, 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 is, it is her fault, but like she is so warped at this point that it's li- literally. And I think Four Age are talking about this. Like basically, she's been so corrupted by become by being a shiki that there really is no saving her. Yeah, uh, th- that's the thing. Also, I, I I didn't. Ca- Do you think that there was any point to uh, to the story at all, or was it just like? Uh, uh, like, yes, uh, the main theme is uh, banish the barbarian, banish the outsider, and uh, build a wall. Foreigners mm, keep out. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess there was sort of a anti anti urban kind of. I, I mean, if you think uh, about thing. it, the vampire chick, the so little girl, she got embraced from some guy from Europe who came, who showed up. <laughs> I, I was, I was yeah, more thinking based. about uh, Megumi. <laughs> You know, Megumi's arc, um, and uh, how she basically just ended up uh, getting killed by um... tractors. Yeah, tractors. Yeah, by a tractor, a little bit. Of... Oh, I, I'm now thinking of the Bob the Builder theme song. Um, yeah, I mean, getting mucked, scoop and dizzy. <laughs> Oh man, Bob and That's a bit of issue, sort of, I guess. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and his gang have so much fun. Killing together and the to get the job Bob the Builder <laughs> can he fix it? Bob the Builder. Yes, he can. Dude, imagine that fucking episode. Okay. Today, children, we're gonna, today, children, we're gonna stake a stake for a vampire. I'm gonna need some nails and a hammer. Wendy, get the rope. Wendy, Wendy get the mallet. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, but, but basically, yeah, uh, Megumi probably... just ends up getting killed by the uh, villagers killed. she kept on looking down on. Um, yeah. yeah, because she's a city girl. <laughs> I'm so, Not really. I'm so she's... To some she's, she, she's she's just la- laughing as a city girl. Yeah, she's laughing as a um, city slicker. Yeah, got um, city slicker. Hmm. I, I also, I mean, I guess it was like keep the outsider out, and that's good and all. But I also felt like uh, by the end, by like uh, it, it was going for like uh, vampires are humans too. Uh, no, they you not. know, vampire lives they matter. Will... No, they don't. Uh, but, but, uh, but, but, but it. Mm. But it's like they're saying, oh, look, uh, the, the humans are as bad as the vampires or something. Here's the thing. And that would that would work if only if the humans started. It was really the vampires that started the shit. Like, they are literally the aggressor. That, like, it, and, and I was talking this with Ford Agent, and I, and I think he'll back me up on this. Like, literally, they didn't really actually have to kill people. Because I, I asked Ford Agent in our little, like, back to forth chat, was peace ever an option? Could it, could it, could it possibly happen? And he said yes, because they don't actually have to kill anyone. They're the ones who actually started it. Um, yeah, a, um, it appears that um, a shiki with enough self-control um, can sustain themselves for, um, through feeding off um, multiple uh, multiple different people. Like uh, A shiki um, is established um, by the Doctor very, um, very early on. Um, the amount of blood that um, a shiki needs has to take from it from a human and uh, that's that's nowhere near the amounts that uh, would kill someone so uh, yeah, yeah like, a, i think um, they take like maybe a cup worth yeah exactly so so like um a small sort of vanguard of uh shiki could um could probably live um very happily alongside um enough sort of willing um, um participants 
It's just yes. um, so um, either um, the the, the uh, Shiki can't find um, enough willing participants, which which will start um, well, 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 which which will mean which will mean the death of Shiki. So the Shiki are forced to attack humans, or um, what's the alternative? Or um, all the um, all the Shiki just just can't control themselves. And uh, they end up just uh, killing people anyway, uh, which which will start, which will um, inevitably start a uh, start a um, uncontrollable um, spiraling out of control, um, as yeah. you see in the show. With uh, with uh, more and more shiki just just um, keep um, coming up, and uh, and there's and there's very little in a way of really stopping this unless unless the <laughs> village actually starts mobilising. Yeah, because so, that's, yeah, that's kind of like the interesting thing is that, like, literally, when they rise up, they just kind of like left their own fucking devices. Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, and, uh, uh, yeah. Um, it's basically in the in the nature of a shiki um, to be sort of anti-human. Like, um, a shiki and and a human can't live in the same um, in the same um, area together. Um, but, but, uh, but what? what, what but wasn't there the case of um, in the I think it was in the extra episode um, where uh, the the mother of oh, um, yes of I remember that... that I was I actually wanted to bring that up. Here's the thing, um, that was voluntary. But but it doesn't, it doesn't they don't even have to do it voluntarily because they can just uh, brainwash people. Yeah, actually there was an idea that like. I, I'm actually. Well, I actually wondered why they didn't use that more often. Like, why not just brainwash the town, for, like fucking give regular blood tithes, and then like you know in exchange yeah, I mean, for that, you, know, you protect the town from people. You know, like they they literally could have set them up as like guardian deities of their like weird cult religion shit. Yeah, just uh, just say uh, obey all my orders or, or something like that. Uh, as that. Um, they did. They, they also did the silly thing, you know. The you know, not calling vampires vampires. We're going to, we're going to call them something else. Um, but at least they, they had a re- reason here because, um, because tradition yeah, because, or something. Because of the yeah. uh, priest book, right? Yeah. Was it because of the priest book? Yeah, it okay. was because of the pri- It was also because of the priest book, and also so- Sunako has not encountered many other vampires, like. You get the impression that these vampires are around, but they're very like isolated, like yeah, maybe isolated they're not pockets, yeah. or maybe they're not so retarded. So that that's why it's hard to find yeah. them. Um, yeah. Hmm. Because um, because here's the thing: like I, I I can guarantee you this village, like if they're only taking like one pint of multiple people every now and then. Like, the Kirishiki's family could have lived very, relatively comfy, comfy with the servants. And the only thing that'd be going on is, like, random bouts of anemia. And it's like, oh, they need blood transfusions. Oh, look, they're full again. You know? Like, that's not really gonna... Like, I think people would... Pro- they would probably raise a few alarm bells, but not enough to be like, oh, everyone's... Oh, we're gonna kill the vampires. Be like, okay, we've got vampires, but no one's died. What do we do? Like, like yes, it... I mean, I I was kind of under the impression at first in the first few episodes that um, it was uh, their servant, uh, the cat boy, um, vampire, just doing shit um, uh, without without the other uh, Kirishimas uh, knowing, because it it just looks so retarded. Um, uh, I think the, it the possibly height... is him doing shit. Keep me shaking. I mean, uh, is it though? I mean, uh, later on, I think it was made clear that um, he was just following orders from um, the little Sonical, girl. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, here's the thing: he was following orders, but I think that he was taking a very liberal degree. I, I think he was following them in a very liberal degree. Like basically, he got um, told to do something, didn't tell exactly how to complete that task. Uh, in the manga, in the manga, um, do, do they ever make it clear why the head monk decides to just go to them, go to the vampires for? 
Um, just for no reason. I think it's because he's a bit misanthropic and he hates tradition. Like, basically, he's a subversive leftist. In the manga, are you just making it up? Ah, uh, in the manga, that was kind of like the impression. Like, he's just a subversive leftist. I see. I see. Oh, I found someone who's left a um, left l- left a negative review, and they um, they give it a, a t- two out of ten on the, on the letterbox. I was the same. Uh, um, wow, um, what a painful watch it's been! I nearly dropped this show after after the horrible first three episodes, but I couldn't believe after reading all the positive reviews here that it it had no redeeming qualities. <laughs> well, guess what? It has none, uh, and he sort of goes on for um for for a while. Um, yeah, you sort of get the point. Uh, yeah, yeah this I think... just didn't just didn't say anything. Yeah, I mean, three three episodes. It's um, because this is this is sort of um, plot, and I guess they they are a kind they are kind of um, mini arcs. But yes. um, I don't I don't think that um, the first three episodes is a good measure because it it gets it gets a lot more brutal i guess yeah as like, it literally goes on um yeah can we agree that the first half of the series is much better than the second half um yeah i would say so um yeah um i do, and where, I do prefer the first half where would you say more meaningful, it... all the depth and things yeah, yeah. Uh, but by the second half, do you mean when the humans uh, start killing the vampires? Yeah, basically, I'd, I'd, I'd basically put it between, um, just bef- like around the point where like Matt Yuki Kun becomes a vampire, like he he's basically getting it attacked, or like he around that point, I think it's like the halfway mark, like around that point, like after that happens, like the show kind of takes a bit more of a comedic turn, like it just sets up for the grand comedy. Um, by the way, what, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, Yuki's father kind of became like a, com- I guess, a com- comedic character, maybe. Oh, dude, it was fucking After. hilarious. Um, I wasn't clear about why did uh, Yuki's did Yuki's mother leave the town, or did I she think die? She le- I think she, I think she left. Yeah, I, I also kind of liked... Um, like, her son just died, and then he just rose up from the dead a few hours later. But did he see... Did she see him? I don't yes. think... Like, basically, they walked in his room. Oh, he's dead. We'll get the funerary shit then. And then, because they... You know, he's he probably was dead, actually. And then he just walks out of bed in the manga. Like, it little shows a scene of, like, you know, the paramedics coming with the ambulance and shit. And when he, like, he's just up in bed, it's like, wait, you were dead, I checked, you had no pulse. I'm like, and, the, and he's like, what the fuck? But uh, if I remember correctly, in, in the anime, um, she leaves before j- just leaving her dead son on on, on the bed. Right? A yes. Toad agent. She... Mm. So I guess it's different sorry, in the manga. Yeah, I, uh... <laughs> I've been sorry. Um, I've got I've got, I've got myself very distracted just 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 looking for these reviews. Um, <laughs> as far as um as far as um the reviews goes, it's uh it seems very sort of balanced. Uh, lots of people are giving it all sorts of different scores. Um, lots of like lots of um eights and nines. Um, uh, I don't, I don't I'm, think I'm it's saying, that good. So. Um, no. I'm, well, obviously, um, I wouldn't um I wouldn't uh, descend um to uh, mere consensus. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's um, I give it, I give, it, I give it a seven, right? But but the average score is um, seven point seven seven. So yeah, I don't know, maybe you know, you know, maybe I'm I'm a, a man of the people in a way. I, yeah, I mean, I mean so, a seven yeah. is fine. I think. Show, like like my rating for it was like a high six to a low seven. Like yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. there's a lot That's of good moments right. in the show. It's just there's a, it just has a few things that really hold it back. Uh, the ending yeah. for one of the anime is not satisfying. Yeah, also... And, and, and it kind of comes um, think... off as sequel bait. Yes, it does, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I, I think for it... me... Um, sorry, Sam, sorry, sorry. No, 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 you go on, you go on. Um, for me, the, um, the animation was the, wasn't quite um, up to scratch, really. Um, in places, like... Um, I'm a, 
I'm okay. I'm okay, um, I'm okay watching uh, shows that that have that great animation, but um, in some places the animation was just a bit extra was sort of needed, um, especially um, with the hair. Like um, with um, all the characters with like these ridiculous hairstyles, and they would sort of move their heads, but 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 their hair would sort of stay like like um, it's alive. These yeah, like like these solid objects basically. So like. Um, Ritsuko, for example, would would a sort sort of move her head, and like her her hair would be like um, this great big sort sort of mass behind her, like I don't know some sort of like tail or something. It was um, it was quite distracting sometimes. Um, but yeah, obviously sometimes the hair was fine. Um, but just all, occasionally, all shit, like in the um, skiff I'm showing, like literally, her hair is like moving up and down, like Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, just 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 some animation weirdness. Um, sort of um affected my opinion of it really um yeah i don't I, know I don't, uh, yeah i didn't really care about that much about the pretty colors and um i don't know i i kind of liked it because i i kind of like anime which is not that shiny like um most modern modern anime these days is so i kind of liked it for that um i mean it, i didn't i mean i didn't see any obvious other than the hair, uh, which I got used to, except for two characters, um, I mean, I just stopped caring about it that 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 much, at, except for the the rifle guy. Yeah, he was um, fucking weird. Yeah, um, yeah, and also, well, uh, g- given that he's not uh, like exactly that old, I mean, he's a human. So basically, he's just laughing, as um, <laughs> as being ancient, I guess, but by wearing kind of, I guess, peri- period clothes or something. Yeah. To fitting with the yeah, rest. Yeah, he's a, he's a literally laughing. <laughs> he's a he's a vampire laugher. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I kind of like um, I kind of like. How old anime looks, so I don't, I didn't, I didn't really care about I, I, that. I mean, visually, the show does look very unique. It does. Um, yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not saying overall that the uh, show, show looks bad. I'm just saying there's, there's certain bits um, that don't look great, um, but um, do look uh, no, um, noticeably bad, basically. Um, but it's fine, really. It's forgivable. Um, I guess, I, I guess. Really, really um visually the main the um the main problem um i sort of had was 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 um was getting used to um to the um the to the character designs basically yeah because there's I like some of the I, character designs do fucking clash yeah um it took me yeah i was um i didn't i didn't really take some of the characters seriously because because of their character design like um like um yuki um for example, um, I couldn't really take him seriously because because, because of his like p- purple hair. Um, but I, don't oh, know. I, I he, actually um, liked his purple. Right I, I loved his hair because purple's my favorite color. But like, yeah, I can get it. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of thought it fitted like the emo shit he was going for. Like you know, he, he's too yeah. Yeah. yeah, I did. Um, I did. I did forgive it in the end, but I don't know. it just it just took took me a bit to get to get used to it all. Well, at least his hairstyle is not that fucking ridiculous. No, no, no. He's um, he's got he's got one of the better hairstyles. And, and I um, think it kind of fits. Like, there's kind of a lack of fucks given zero about it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he's sort of a like uh, like a like a meme less the least realistic character. I I thought. Um, I. I because like because of how, because of his uh, zero fucks given attitude um, I, I until mean, the when, end. I mean, um, I, I mean, I think you brought this up early in the video, but I'll just mention it. Like literally, um... oh god, this is actually a pretty funny. Oh, that's a funny meme. Um, you know, when he's like being confronted by fucking Tatsuya or something like yeah, Tatsuya, and he's like, oh, you on our side or neither? And he just like blank face just says neither. Fuck you. Like. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't like uh, he's basically at that point he doesn't care. Yeah. Also, at the end, um, 
when he, uh, I don't know, he commits uh, Sudoku with, no, uh, uh, with Catboy. I, I think Ford Agent put it best. Uh, he joined Al-Qaeda. <laughs> yeah. He, he joined what? Um, Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, he, he was like... Uh, um, when, when the cat boy was like, uh, you know, you can't kill us, kill us, uh, werewolves, quote unquote werewolves, like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, he was like, um, hello, Akbar. Yeah, <laughs> it was, it was a yeah, good Um, hello, Akbar. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's quite. I, I, I mean, some, like some everybody's like, like that, about yeah. to die. He still has that fucking face, so I don't give a shit. Also. Really interesting thing of his character design is that, do you notice that his eyes are a lot more detailed when he becomes a fucking vampire as well? Um, yeah, I, I, I did kind of like um, the... Uh, I mean, it's kind of silly, but I did kind of like the the red, uh, the red eye thing. Um, oh, no, not just the red eyes. Like, yeah. he visually looks different. Like, he's a lot more paler, and his eyes are a lot more pronounced. Let me go see if I can find a picture of it. Because I think I might have shown you before. Uh, here it is. This is a good example. So this is him when he becomes a vampire. Alright. And then we're going to compare him when he became regular human. Dude. Like, if you notice... Yeah, not the cat boy you wanted. Like, if you notice, his eyes are a lot more darker and more pronounced. And he's a bit more paler. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, he, it, also it, starts it's, wearing it's, a dress, he also starts wearing a bathrobe as well. It's the, it's the natural yeah. progression of a emo kid, so can't be helped. But here's, another, um, here's another example. Yeah. Like, you just notice that, like, his <laughs> eyes are a lot more, like, defined and shit. Yeah, he, he, he started to give a shit a, a little bit. And yeah. That's what happened. Well, it took from um, to become a, a super vampire. Yeah. Now... I asked uh, Ford Agent this question, but do you think um, he was gay? Mm, 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 mm. Cause dude, dude mm, his relationship maybe. with Toro was kind of uh, <laughs> I think it goes a bit beyond friendship, bruh. Yeah, it could be. It could be gay. I mean um I was his getting parents were a bit I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, his parents were basically uh, retarded libtards or something, if I'm not mistaken. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or, or like, uh, you know, like, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, unmarried. I did, uh, yeah, unmarried, yeah. Because they don't, they don't believe in the uh, <laughs> uh, system of yeah, marriage or something. Hipsters. <laughs> yeah, hipsters. Um, yeah, yeah. We're we're going to move to the countryside uh, uh, because you know, like that's what hippies do, I guess. And um, I, I kind, I kind of like the the sort of anti science or like people are not going to believe shit um, kind of kind of attitude, which uh, the doctor and I guess the show in gen in general kind of had. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, to to be honest, uh, what do you guys think of um, the doctor killing his uh, wife again? I guess. Um. Uh, that was would you have pretty, done it? That was pretty fucked. Um, I think it was a good point to showcase his character, like how far he's willing to go. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, uh, I think yeah. it was. Yeah, what were you going to say, Todd Agent? Yeah, um, after um, after a point, the um, doctor just sort of gives up on on all the people in the town when I when I just don't, you know, when I don't believe him. Um, you know, um, as far as far as uh, his concerns, uh, anyone anyone in the uh, town can just you know turn turn into a chicken. Um, this is this is why um, I think um, he's. A, his attention is then sort of turned um, onto, onto the um, preservation of the town itself ra rather than its people, um, which is why he sort of um, turns into, you know, he he turns into a bit into a bit of a madman um, in the end, um, where it's sort I of mean, like, I... you know. 
Mm. I mean, I felt like uh, when he said that, oh, like he just wants to wait and see until the villagers all uh, un- until the village dies and the, all the villagers die. He just said it to put um, the big the big t-shirt va- vampires um, guard down because wasn't it then when he said that? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was um, it was sort of um, in the bar right where when. He- he tries to first tell people. Oh um, yeah, in the bias though, well, in the bias. Well. Yeah, no, you don't so, um, Yeah, f- um, from what I can tell, um, at that point, um, he just wants to win, um, basically, um, against the shaking, and that's what that's what um, for him. That's what that's what this um, entire series has been. Um, just um, just a shaking messing like messing with his understanding of the world, and uh, in the end, it's not it's. Not about saving lives. It's about just um, winning. Um, we sort of see that when he stop, uh, you know, um, when he stops caring about um, a, n- a nurse's um, like um, loved one, for example. He just, you know, he says something along, along the lines of, uh, "Is that so?" or, or uh, something, and he, and he just sort of um, starts ignoring people when they actually come to him with uh, that problem. Wasn't mm. that just because? Just wasn't that just because he was in shock? That uh, basically he was uh, keeping a corpse and uh, planning to bring his wife back to life and then kill her or something. I, well, I yeah, actually yeah, think it's a mix so of things. Brilliant. Like um, I think it's a mix of things because basically you got to think about it. He is a, a respected doctor, and he's basically thrown like the mother of all fucking curveballs. Like he's racking his head. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Because. You know, doctors do, a lot of them do take their jobs very seriously. And, like, he's the only doctor in this fucking town. Like, he's he's racking his mind of what could it be, what could it be. I, I think it was about saving the village, but I think he just snapped. Like, I think he, I, I think at some point he broke, and then it became about winning. Yeah, I, um, I sort of, uh, I sort of didn't buy how, like, um, he came to realize that it was uh, vampires. Because... Uh, he he just it, it just came to him. He, he didn't uh, like see any proof or anything. I I, I think um, it was a light bulb moment kind of thing. Like I I get it, but I I think that was the light bulb moment because, like, it's like you, you, it's one of the things that you would overlook. It's one of those. Oh, it was so fucking obvious. Like I don't think. I I, I think maybe the scene sold that that he believed it was vampires, but I think it showcased that it's like wait a minute. Maybe I'm not looking at this correctly. Yeah, maybe it's that. I I think um, I don't know. I, yeah, it could could have been that. Um, it was when he, when he met Yuki, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But I guess it sort of does make sense because uh, Yuki said that uh, he's so. Um, Megumi alive again. Yeah. So yeah, that could be it. Uh, I I also felt like, like the show kind of um, made like a contrast between um, between uh, the two between uh, the priest and the doctor, and and uh, th- that's um that's another thing like about about the village like um about like when I said earlier that uh, they made it clear about um the village hierarchies that uh, we can just uh, talk about the, the many of the characters uh, just by the even if you don't remember their names we can just talk about them Be by remembering the what their roles were yeah like uh, uh like like the old man um uh, uh liquor store, um I, I like that dude. He's he's great. Yeah, yeah, I oh, liked yeah. him too. He's a bit of a beast. <laughs> like, dude, dude. Yeah, the yeah. Guy one of my one of my uh... d- r- ripped. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. One of one of my favorite um, parts in this series is where he just he just like executes his like his own son basically, <laughs> like uh, but, yeah, um, pretty brutally as well. Um, well, yeah, in his okay. defense, his son did like murder an innocent woman and shit, like brutally too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was um, it it was totally deserved. But uh, yeah, it was um, it was very it was oh, very. Also, um... his son was also a bit of a slacker. Like yeah. he's like, oh, you motherfucker! I did not raise I did not raise a killer. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, um, 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 guys, um, I kind of, I kind of have to have to have to dip out now. Oh, um, yeah, that's fine. I am getting tired, so um. Yeah, um, my voice is uh, is getting very sore. Um, uh, unfortunately, like, I'm not I'm quite sure. Tired, so, um, um, right, right. So yeah, hope... um, uh, yeah. Well, bye then. Don't hope... touch Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, wrap it up. Yeah, hopefully we'll with uh, with um, talked enough. Um, yeah, and it will make it will make it will make a a, a usable video. Um, hope for, um, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Yeah. I'm recording yeah. it too. Um. Yeah, but um good. just to sort of wrap up Shiki, um I like the fa- um I, I it's 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 one of those shows I don't think I'm gonna ever forget. Like it's a it's, it's a decent show. I just think it's it's a bit it's just I think one of the things that really holds it back is that it doesn't really have any like in depth conversations or like it's a bit vague on a lot of things. Like I think it's trying to play up the mystery factor a bit too much in certain moments. But um, yes, yes. I, I mean, um, I mean, the, the, it's not like uh, the story is trying to make uh, any point. But I mean, you, you can take, uh, you can interpret it as you want. But um, it it doesn't seem to have like a, a point. Um, yeah, it doesn't have a point. Um, like oh, um, I do um, I do have a have a question for you, students. Um, who's oh, the important question? Yeah. Yeah, go on. Who's best girl? Best girl, uh, god damn it. Mm, the nurse, uh, the green, green hair. Yeah, haired, boy. Um, yeah, Richard Chitsuko. or something. Yes, Richard, come on. <laughs> come on. Uh, yes, uh, Ritz, Ritsuko. Um, Ritsuko. Of course, naturally. Yeah. yeah. Um, can Naturally. I just say that her, like, um, death scene with Toro not, not was the fake very... One, yeah. um, can I just say that her death scene with Toro was actually pretty decent? Did yeah, we actually see them die? Uh, we um, saw them stank, uh, and I think it's... holding hands, I think... Like, I think they basically, like, let someone kill them. Yeah, yeah that's it's what implied. Um, anyway. Yeah, yeah and uh, my, um... My closing thoughts is that um, Shiki um, is quite, um, for me, was um, was um, a very um, enjoyable experience. And um, if you're into uh, mystery and, and um, comedy, you know, vampires, and, yeah, dark comedy, it's um, it's really it's really great for that. And I would um, I would um, recommend it. Um, seven out of ten. Um, I yeah. would recommend it because it's one of the best um, dark comedies ever. And um, fun fact: the person who wrote this um, got married. I do believe to the to the person who wrote um, another horror series called Another. So, you know. Oh yeah, yeah that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, yeah, and another another was another uh, unintentionally funny. Uh, oh yeah, that, that's a anime. that's a good that's a good comedy too. But um, my closing thoughts on Shiki is like, if you want like non-sparkly vampires and vampires that are treated as like the supernatural horrors they are shiki's not a bad show like you know and i and i, and I also think it and it, and it kind of gives a nice like almost like mystic vibe to it too a bit too much on the mystery and the vagueness but this is not a bad it's not like it's not a bad ride you're never going to be bored like literally this is one of the few shows where i can just consume episodes like very quickly yeah, yeah. Um, like, like if, if it wasn't for yeah. like time zones and like my internet connection being shit every now and then, like I mean, I mean, me and good, um, me and the good student probably could have like bl- breezed through this fucking entire show, like in like a yeah. sittings, yeah. sittings. Like it's um, I, I would actually describe it as like Code Geass in terms of like its watchability. Like you can just like sit down and like just bang onto it like for a couple of episodes, and and it's like wait, six episodes. And it's oh shit, that was quick. Yeah, I mean, h- half of the fun is uh, seeing which character, which characters will live to the end. Oh, um, oh yeah, I, I did forget an, an, another thing is, um, and, and Ford Agent brought this up about it being very Stephen Kingish. Um, the soundtrack itself, like the opening and ending songs, are great, but like the soundtrack yeah. is really great. I actually, um, I actually showed it. I actually um, had some of my family members give it a give it a listen to, 
And they actually said, and I quote, that the soundtrack reminded them of very, like, Stephen King. Like, so, uh, it's, it's, it's actually possible that this show could have had maybe some Stephen King, maybe Tim Burton influences, possibly. Because yes, um, this, this was written in the 90s, I do believe, and it even takes place in the 90s, so it could be that, uh, the, the author here may have, ca- the person who re- wrote the original work cam- could have came across with Stephen King. Yes, that's, it could be possible, yeah. Um, as far um, as far as the um, vampire anime go, I think um, this is the best one I've seen, but I'm not, I've not seen that many. Uh, what do you think, Biogandam? Are there any better vampire anime? Yes and no. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, basically, I've seen a few more. But this is also going with manga as well. Um, I would say Shiki is at least in the top 10 for me. In the top 10? I see. I see. Uh, So I guess... There is a a manga I want you to check out, which um, I I, I think you might find it very interesting. I think it's called Record of a Fallen Vampire. Let me go... Check it. Let me go. Ch- let me go check it quickly. Record of a fallen vampire. Let me check. It. I think this is what's called. Uh yes, is yes, it's this. Um, there's a manga called Record of a Fallen Vampire. It's it's nine volumes long. However, um, now just watch the ways. The main character can come off as a bit of a Mary Sue, but holy fuck, is it sad and tragic. I don't want to spoil it, yeah. but I, I, I want you to give it a read. Like it's called "Look Up Record of a Fallen Vampire" or like the Japanese name. Um, Look, mm. if you thought Shiki Look. was sad, um, this is like completely fucked. Um, <laughs> was Shiki sad? Um, a little bit. M- yeah, a little bit. I guess. Yeah, it was a bit um, with um, with with the young girls. Uh, well, with the with the young vampires and. Um, Storyline, and that was that was that was a bit sad. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I guess um, I, I you mean, kind of a have a sense to... of tragedy in the series, and also irony as well. Yeah, I mean, you ha- you have to kind of forget how retarded they are to feel sorry for yeah. them, and that's the thing. Look, look, look. Um, if I was in that situation, I probably would have like just cut her head off as like a mercy, and then like buried her like in my backyard, like with a nice lavish tombstone. Yeah, basically, I think that, that that's how it should have ended. Maybe, maybe the monk. Actually, killing that's her what Ford or... agent said. Like, he actually figured it would have been better if they just burned to death, like together in the in the temple. Which I, I I actually think that would have been actually probably a better ending, because basically she gets freed from her curse of being a vampire. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess what the show is kind of say, saying is that uh, well, it wasn't her fault. So it was um, her fault. She but... moved there. Mm, yeah, I guess. So, but but but, but uh, I mean, doesn't the mark say that? Uh, oh well, um, the, the moment uh, that uh, that you turned uh, into a vampire, uh, you were already out of uh, God's judgment. Then uh, you did nothing wrong. Uh, Shiki did nothing wrong, uh, or something. How can you prove that? Shiki... <laughs> mm. Well, where does the curse come did from? It... We don't even we don't even fucking know. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess. So. Yeah. Um, I mean, who knows? It could have been like an actual punishment from God. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it, so, it's like, okay, so you know, you you can't be judged by God. Well, others can judge you. Uh, yeah, yeah, obviously, but uh, so I, I guess it's more like um, you know, like. In horror movies, a lot of the time, like um, if, you if know what I think some... that, that conversation was, um, I, I I think it was just her, um, the monk convincing her that she can start over, like there's still redemption for her. Yeah, uh, obvi- obviously, yes, it was that. But but I I mean, um, I'm speaking more in in a meta uh, sense, in the sense that uh, in, in a lot of horror stories, like 
if there's somebody like in, in a zombie movie like acting like an asshole putting putting other people's uh, lives in danger to, to save himself usually that guy is not going to be a survivor at the end uh, if, if, if you see what i mean yeah i get you yeah i mean here's, so the, thing. I guess I, um, here's yeah. the thing that's actually in line with human nature like the more darker aspects of human nature is that selfishness um like there like but yeah gr- but yeah but but the, you know on the on the uh, opposite side of the spectrum you know humans also survive by working together so it's yeah kind I, of, I guess it's it's yeah. an it's an interesting like parallel that like you have like two sides of human nature that can fuck you over and like get can fuck you over or benefit you depending on the situation yeah i guess uh, it's i mean it's not that's uh, i mean at the end it's it's not like that selfishness is, is portrayed uh, that ugly i guess to be that ugly i guess uh, um I, I um another thing i wanted to t- think about quickly was um uh, I felt like the show ca- kind of uh, created a kind of a dichotomy that uh, that is kind of asking you whether whether you would you would uh, be like the monk or li- like the doctor, uh, I guess. Um, well, there, there's a very interesting thing, and I brought this up with Ford Agent. Is that do you notice the two people in the show that rose up as like super vampires? They actually like accepted their death or like gave their blood willingly. Um, did, I mean, uh, super vampires, uh, did, uh, so you think, so you mean that, uh, the, the, the priest became a super, va- super vampire as well? Yeah, he did. And the manga is literally confirmed. He's, li- he literally got denim and boots. I see. I see. Uh, I see. No longer a monk. I see. Yeah, he's now a traveling uh, nomad with with denim jackets and leather boots. Yeah, I see. Um, although, ho- although the good did... news, he did finish his book. Oh, did he? Yeah, he had yeah. a lot of material. Um, do you think? Do you do you feel like uh, the book had that much of a point in the story? Uh, I I I think it was just more like to flesh out the character. For his like his writings and shit, you know. I mean, I I, I yeah. find the the Cain and Abel shit plot point a bit, a bit mm. kind of meh. Yeah, I mean, mm. <laughs> it, it, it's like uh, the, the story keeps on changing every time that he he says it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to take it a bit too seriously. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, yeah, I see that. Uh, yeah, I think that that's uh, that's uh, that's enough ab- about Shiki. But uh, I guess what are we going to watch uh, next? Uh, maybe another vampire anime, given that we have been basically watching vampire anime. Okay, cool. I so. uh, want to do. Let me just grab my list up because um, I I do have uh, I think uh, in a couple of weeks' time I do have like a study break week, so we could probably bang for a couple of episodes. How about because I've got a few of them, um. Blood Plus is a little fucking long. Uh, we could do Vampire Priestess, um, Priestess Miyu. Miyu? Yep. Um, I mean, it's about... Okay, it about? so it's 26 episodes plus uh, four episodes of an OVA. I see. Is it any good? Yes, and it's kind of like... It's okay. Uh, think of better, like, better, think, think of like better, um, better Nightwalker, Shiki. except they try to develop more of a plot. Mm, a better or worse than Shiki? Uh, worse. Uh, then let's watch a better one, why not? A, a better vampire anime. Uh, it's not bad. It's like episodic shit. Um, I've actually heard the manga is actually not half bad either. Um... Can, can we go with something with a plot? I, because I kind of liked uh, that Shiki had a plot. <laughs> right. Okay, but I just want to show you the picture of what the fucking characters look like because we can we we can watch this at some other point. But uh, I mean, record of a fallen vampire is not uh is it's got a plot. But let me see what else is on my fucking list. What else do I have? What are the fucking va- the only thing else I have is like Blood Plus, but it's like fifty one episodes long. 
And they're not like they're not like yeah. vampire vampires. Mm. Ah, what else do I fucking I have? I see. What else do I have? Ah, uh, no. Um, yeah, um, to be honest, um, I'm kind of um, I'm kind of happy to uh, watch um, records of, of a full on vampire, and that's ah, uh, it's only a manga so. at the moment, but uh, uh check it out. I mean, it's, it's on okay, like okay. I mean, a horror site. So uh, how, uh, how see, many volumes? I, I mean, nine we, volumes. We could read it. Um, I mean, it's it's a manga, so I guess. Do you, don't you think we could read that instead and talk about that? Oh, we can. Oh, actually, what do you think? Of, yeah, I, I was actually gonna. Uh, here's the thing. Oh, I should actually stop the recording. Ah, uh, thank you for watching, people. Well, uh, bye bye. For um, you can edit the shit out. I'll, I'll edit this crap out. <laughs>